G'day mates, welcome back. Yes, it's been a long time, a few weeks, uh, haven't really been in the mood for it, lost a bit of mojo, but I, uh, I've had a few early days the last week or two, uh, finishing work early, I mean, yep. So I've managed to crack on with a few bits and pieces. Um, so what I'm going to do today is a bit more of this little beauty. Yep, the Bandai 148 Stuck. And it really is a beautiful little kit. Uh, the more I get into it, the more I realise how fantastic it is for its age. And, uh, you know, such a small size kit. But, not only, but also... What I'm going to start, it's actually got an engine and a transmission, can you believe it? You could make this uh, an interior kit if you wanted. It's 148 scale and it's got an engine, a transmission, you get a box to put shells in, you get shells to go in it, you get a driver's seat. Um, yeah, <laughs> if you were that way inclined, you could make a interior kit out of it. Anyway, this is what I've done so far. So we'll have a little look at what I've done so far, and uh, then we'll have a look at what. So I've this is what I've been up to on the 148 Stug so far. The running gears on. Unbelievably, the engine and transmission are in there. If I really was that way inclined, I would have painted that properly. And I was going to do it, but in the end, I just couldn't be arsed. Checker plate, uh, transmission tunnel cover. There'll be a driver's seat. And uh, the gun breech fits in there. The back stun, the exhaust system's on. Bloody bloody bloody. There's the roof, that's all primed, ready to put the hatches and what have you on it. So let's have a little look of what we're up to next. So here we are. So my friends, we're gonna be doing that next, the gun breach. And I've gone for the 105 variant, the shorter barrel, as opposed to the longer 75 mil. Uh there's 16 pieces I think in that which is, which is a fair few for such a tiny little kit and there's you see you get 75 mil shells and 105 mil shells you get a driver's seat you get a box to put a couple of shells in it's a fantastic little kit so I'm going to be putting the gun breech together Next, so let's grum. have a little look at the gun breech parts ready. Start giving them a little clean up. And uh, I'll just get the uh, correct little tool to give them a little uh, clean up. Not really much, there's no flash on them whatsoever. Just the sprue gate ends that need to be cleaned up. A little bit of a sand, sand, sand. A little bit of sand, sand, sand. That's that one done. I primed it. I didn't really make a big meal out of priming it. So some parts I've missed, but you get the general idea. It's been primed. A little bit of sand in with the old Tamiya sanding sponge. There's another one done. A fair nice bit of detail on it as well. To be fair. That might just come off with a bit of scrapey scrapey. Yep. Yeah. 
not making too much of a big deal out of it because it's not going to be seen. I know some people go, oh yeah, but I know it's in there. Yeah, well, I know it's in there, but, you know, it's not going to be seen, so I'm not particularly bothered. Although I do want to build it properly. You know, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. <laughs> if I've missed a bit of scrapage. <laughs> or, you know, I haven't primed it properly. Sixteen bits altogether with this, I think I counted. A little bit of scrapage there. There's the mantlet. Nice little. I'm definitely going to get more of these uh, Bandai One Forty Eights. They're pretty expensive, 20, 30, 40 quid. I've seen them on eBay, of course, and I've got quite a few in my uh, watch list. Because if this is the quality of them, then put me down for a few more. That's all I'm going to say. Be careful, I've got a new blade in the scalpel, super sharp. We don't want any accidents, John Boy. A little bit of a seam on that, but it's not going to be seen, so I'm not that bothered. Scrape that off. Uh, these microscopic parts, microscopic for me anyway, there's a little uh, turny wheel thing, which I would imagine would be for elevating the gun or turning it from side to side, whatever the technical term for that is, cut that bit off. That can go in the cleaned pile. Cut that bit. Does that come off that bit? No, that stays on. That's a handle. Alright, so it's just a little stumpy barrel now. I want to clean that up. Decent job of it. Because that's obviously going to be a focal point on the front of the tank give that a little sand some more cottage And that can go in the bin, that can go in the finished pile. Right, so they're done. There's all the bits ready to be assembled. So let's crack on with that. Right, so here we are, ready to start putting it together with our weapons of choice so we're ready to begin I'll start off with a little stumpy barrel and what I like to do is put regular Tamiya cement on it and what I do make sure there's quite a fair bit on there so that when you squeeze it together it oozes out and when you've got that oozing out you've got filler ready made 
put the two halves together <clears throat> my fingers are just like pork sausages so that's together you can see there's a bit of oozy woozy on it don't worry about that oozy woozy is good because that will be our filler when it dries hard so hopefully there will be no need to do any extra filling because that will already be done I've got a closed peg here We'll give it a bit of a squeeze. And I've got another closed peg, which will give it a squeeze down this end. Just to hold it together until the glue sets, that's all you want. And that's done. Right, so let's put these pieces together. That, then the mantlet goes over the top, like that. So you get your familiar stug, what would you call that, upside down A or an upside down triangle mantlet. I like to use Tamiya cement. Takes me back to the old days. Before extra thin. So that goes on there. Liney, liney, liney. Pushy, pushy, pushy. And that's that bit done. Now we get our two bits here. Again, Tamiya cement. Which is what I like. It's my preference. that on there's not very many locating pins and holes on these so it's a bit of guesswork just trying to line it all up push it together another bit bites the dust now we can glue that onto the back of that with your little oh my goodness exclamation face that goes on there Push it on. I'll give it a little bit of a sand when it's done and dusted. So now we've got to get that. two locate there's me saying oh there's not many locating holes on this well there's two on there my friend so shut your mouth 
you don't know what you're talking about John boy that goes in there like that not a very good fit I have to say so I might have to get the old uh, teeny weeny tiny little file out look at that that's tiny and just give that a little bit of a twist around and that other one a little bit of a twist around blow 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 bit of dry fit that's spot on mate spot on I won't tell you what it, there's a spot on but you can get the picture I'll use a bit of extra fin on that I think just to show I'm not scared of it just run it down there and let it flow let it flow turn it upside down flow 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 that's that bit stuck on there firmly now uh, that's got two little tabs and of course two locating holes after I gobbed off about not having any twizzle 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 blow that get them in there like that and that's the next piece of the jigsaw done bit of extra thin just like that down there and a bit underneath I think and then we'll just hold them for a few seconds there you have that breech block I believe that might be called correct me if I'm wrong as I'm sure somebody will now then the little binocular things that go on top of the breech block they slot in something like that so what I'm going to do is get the old extra thin on it again hold it for a few seconds Bob's your mum's brother a bit more dabbage there and there hold it for a few seconds and that's on there's your binocular things technical terms me I use mate nothing but technical terms right now what we're ready to do is these two side pieces that f fit on there like that we don't glue them apparently because obviously the gun wants to go upside down so they're not glued that goes on there and that's the bit we glue with the Tamiya cement down there 
slide that over push the two halves together see there's no lo nothing to locate that whatsoever so it's the luck of the draw really whether you get it right Right, so it seems I've missed one bit off, which is this bit here. That piece. So I'll just give it a snippage. And a snippage. So that's what the gun block sits on, like that. And that's not very that's very tight. I don't want that to be glued. So I'm just gonna run my little mini mini file around the inside a little bit let's give them a bit of tidy up get that sprue off alright so what's supposed to happen is that goes on there like that and then this thing goes underneath for some reason right so there's our gun block goes up and down and it goes side to side it looks like an ed 209 lay down your weapons you have 20 seconds to comply all right so that's on and what happens is now oh look at that Those holes need to be reamed out, mate. I do believe the battery on the camera is about to go. So if it cuts off mysteriously, you know why. So that fits into the slot and then the binocular things fit in there when the holes are reamed out properly. Which it doesn't appear to want to do at the moment. some twizzling action going on <laughs> let's see if that will go in now yeah boy so that's gone in nicely extra fin down the back of that So 
someone's at the door. Alright, so that was a parcel for Karen. Alright. So there you go, we swapped over to the phone there because the battery on the camera just went. So what I was showing you was this. The completed gun block, gun breach, whatever the technical term is for it, I believe. So it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. And some side to side action. Uh, all I've got to do now is I don't know why that's I don't know why that's got to be stuck on under there because it because that doesn't stick out for that to go over so I've no idea there but anyway I'll do what it says. I'll send the that off first. A little bit of flash on that. So that's going to go on there. Even though I have no idea why. I'll put a little bit of cement on it. Dab. Dab, dab, stick that on. Right, so what would happens is that will go on there, on there, and there's your gun breach. Well, will be when it's stuck on there. That's where that goes. So let's just stick these little handles and wheels and stuff on. Such a shame all this detail and it's not going to be seen really, it's uh, a real shame, uh, hey ho daddy ho, can't be out really, it is good, I do like detail, but you know, yeah. I'm risking life and limb now by picking this up with tweezers because you know what will happen. It will go ping and it will be gone in 60 seconds. And that goes on there like that. And then we've got one more bit that goes on the back of this like that so we'll have a little bit of dab and a little bit of that on there like that so that's the completed, obviously minus the gun barrel. Nicely detailed. 
and all going to be hidden once the roof goes on. As is not to reason why and all that. Right, so that's the way it's going to go. Let's give them a little bit of a sand. So they're nice and flat. Still don't get how that's going on like that because that's miles too big. So there it is. Gun breeze is on in the uh, fighting compartment. You can see there. That's on. Straighten that up. Even though it's not going to be seen. And that's it. Next up, I'm not going to bother with the box of shells, I don't think that's worth doing. Uh, next up, hatches, extra armour, smoke launchers or grenade launchers, whatever they are, the cupola. And I'll get them on and then I'll spray it. And then after that, no, I won't spray it after that because we've got part eight, which is more hatches, uh, spare track. I won't put the tools on yet. So we're going to have seven and eight. For next time and I did <coughs> buy because this was like a second hand kit off of eBay I bought a little tiny 172 scale operative <laughs> to go in there <laughs> tiny that's gonna be so it's got good detail Aero bonus and never heard of them. Czechoslovakian company. Nice little resin figure because it didn't come with figures. It's supposed to come with three. There's the painting guide for the three of them. But sadly they were missing. So I'll just make do with one, because that's going to be hard enough for my fat fingers to paint. Anyway, if you're still here, you haven't fell asleep with boredom, or gone to watch something more interesting, thank you for watching. This is my little 148 Stug, and I can tell you that I will definitely be getting more Bandai 148s in the future. Bandai 148 is definitely in my future. So, take care everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, I'll go downstairs, make myself a brew and have something to eat. So I'll catch you later dudes. Thanks for watching. Model on my friends. <laughs>